Section 2.4 Interactive Assignment Objective 1. The following graph shows the median earnings for females from 2005 to 2009 in constant $2,009. We're going to complete parts A and B below. So when we click on the icon, we're going to see what this picture looks like here. So here is the picture. I'll have it on the next page. And the first question wants us to ask, how is the bar, mis bar graph misleading? And what does the graph seem to convey? Okay, so here's our graph. Okay, if we take a look here, we have 2005, 2006, all the way to 2009. So this tells us the years. Now, in the vertical axis, you can see that it starts at 34,500 and goes all the way up to 36,500. So where is zero located? So if it's starting at 34,500, what's going on here? So you want to look at the trend of the data in the graph and decide if the trend accurately represents the data values relative to each other. The most common graphical misrepresentations of data involve the scale of the graph or an, incons an inconsistent scale or a misplaced origin. Increments between tick marks should be constant. And note that readers usually assume that the baseline or the zero point is at the bottom of the graph. So a graph that begins at a higher or lower value can be misleading. We want to decide what creates the distortion and what false conclusion you might be led to by glancing at the graph. So as here we can see that there's something going on over here. So it says the vertical axis starts at 34,500 instead of zero, which does, it's true. This makes where the bars should start unclear. The vertical scaling is incorrect all the bars look larger than they should. Okay, so this could be the possible answer. Now the horizontal axis starts at 2005 instead of 2000. Um, that's okay because this is all we're looking at, so we can not include B. Same thing with C, we can go ahead and get rid of that. Now let's take a look at D. D says the vertical axis starts at 34,500 instead of zero, which is the same thing we got in part A. This tends to indicate that the median earnings for females changed at a faster rate than it actually did. And that's true here. So it looks like our answer for the first part is D. So the answer is D. Okay, now let's take a look at the next question. It says redraw the graph so that it is not misleading. And then we're going to choose the correct graph. Okay, so let's take a look here. So here is the graph, our main graph from above. Okay, now remember that a bar graph is constructed by labeling each category of data on either the horizontal or vertical axis and the frequency or relative frequency of the category on the other axis. Rectangles of equal width are drawn for each category and the height of each rectangle represents the category's frequency or relative frequency. We're going to check to make sure the misleading aspect of the graph, which is identified in part A, has been removed. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. All right, so our first in 2005 is just above 35,000 here. And we can see that 2006 is above 34,500. We can see that 2007 is above 36,000, 2008 is above 35,500, and we can see that 2009 is above 36,000. So if we take a look at our first graph, 2005, it's right at 30,000. So we cannot redraw this graph in part A, so we have to not use that one. If we look at graph B, this one goes all the way up to 25,000 for 2005. And therefore, that's not where this is located, so we're going to have to eliminate B. Okay, let's take a look at C. Now, C goes, this is above 35,000, so this is above 35,000. And then if we take a look at 2006, it's right, it's below 35,000, but above 34,500. Well, this is going above, and these are all the same length. So therefore, it looks like we're going to have to get rid of C, which is going to leave us with D, but let's make sure that it works. Okay, if we take a look here, 2005 is up at right above 35,000. 2006 looks like it's right below the 35,000. 
2007 goes above the 36,000. We can see that 2008 is in between 35,000 and 36,000, so therefore we can see that. And then 2036,000, so it's close to that. So our answer is going to be D. And let's verify that here. So the answer is D. Now the next question says, what does the new graph seem to convey? All right, so, well, what does this graph tell us? Does it tell us that this graph indicates the median earnings for females have remained fairly constant over the given time period? Well, that looks about right. This graph indicates the median earnings for females have remained completely unchanged over the given time period. Well, it's not completely unchanged, so we're going to not include B. C, this graph indicates that they have slowly increased over the given time period. Well, it hasn't increased because it started in 2005, had gone down, went up, gone down, and went up. And then D, it says that it varied noticeably over the given time period. Well, it's not very noticeably because it looks like it's fairly constant. So our answer is going to be A. So therefore, A is going to be our answer.